Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I'd like to talk about the differences between Notepad and Notepad++, putting them side by side. I think it's kind of a fun comparison, because if you haven't really used Notepad++, but if you've just heard about Notepad++, then you're probably wondering, what the heck is the plus plus there for? What does it mean? Aside from the fact that, you know, obviously plus plus means it's adding some stuff on, but what is that stuff, or what are those items? So in Notepad, the classic Windows built-in text editor, as simple as you can get, you don't really have many features. You can hit Control F to find different items within the text file, um, but as you can see, there's no real formatting structure within it. Uh, if you paste something in, for instance, I take this actually formatted file, and go paste it in, you see that it doesn't even keep the formatting and a line will scroll on as long as it feels like. So it's kind of challenging to get it to hold its structure together well and then even if you do go ahead and type stuff in, if you paste it into something else, often it's not going to look how you want it to look. So you go over to Notepad++ and yes, it's much easier for it to keep its structure, but beyond that, if you're working in certain types of files, of which it supports many, uh, you can see that through the language tab, uh, a lot of programming languages you'll notice, um, because Notepad++ is generally kind of intended for developers, uh, but doesn't have to be used by developers. Other people can use it, and I use it for other purposes as well. Uh, but um, you can look at the display of a certain kind of file, like this personal home pages file, or .php, and you can see that it color codes a lot of the text here, um, because specifically in programming and certain types of configuration files, you have a certain formatting to it. So all of these blue words are keywords in uh, personal home pages. You can see these kind of darker blue colored uh, words are variables, which are pretty important to programming, of course. And it also has uh, comments, as you can see, which are in green. And green comments are pretty common in a lot of different file types. Like we go over here to our PHP INI file. Uh, INI is configuration. And you can see that it supports that green commenting. Now, the commenting is done differently here. It's with a semicolon instead of two slashes, but it's the same basic concept. So beyond the color coding though, what you got up here is a lot of other tools that you would expect out of a full function word processor like Microsoft Word or a integrated development environment. I would say that Notepad++, my personal opinion, doesn't really uh, come to the same level as either of those, but it's also more lightweight and it is highly configurable. So in Notepad++, you have pretty cool features like being able to start recording and playing back macros which is really useful if you want to repeat the same text over and over and over again because it records your input and then you can play it back. Um, you can configure Notepad++ to have additional functionality. For instance, it's actually possible to debug computer code uh, in certain languages like personal home pages using uh, one of the plugins that you can pick up with the plugin manager right here. Um, forget exactly what it's called, something debug. And you can extend it with other functionality as well. If you look up here, you have a lot of different options, which are pretty standard, like copy paste. I uh, don't think there's one for a line because once again, it's not really meant for designing great looking documents like Microsoft Word is. It's more for just um, typing in information, getting it to look how you want it to look and being able to easily uh, like work in it and figure out what you're doing as far as computer code goes in general. I mean, it's kind of indicated over here when you start seeing line numbers. That's very much a programming thing. Um, so some other features, being able to show all characters, that's something you might see in a uh, Microsoft Word, uh, basically to know if a character that's messing up your items. And if you're working in a programming language, once again, going back to that whole programming idea, which Notepad++ is pretty much there for, uh, you can look up the functions list. Now, this is, and sp without getting too much into programming, specifically just to kind of organize 
uh, your file and let you know what all of your functions are actually being called. You can see here we have a function here, the name of the function, another function, and the name of it, and that's just listed over here. So it helps keep you organized, and that's a feature you'd see in an integrated development environment as well. So that should give you a pretty good idea of Notepad++. Uh, you don't have to be a programmer to use it at all. Now, as I mentioned at the start, one of the weaknesses of Notepad is that when you copy in information from another file, it's not necessarily going to be perfectly formatted or look exactly the same as you want it to look, like if you're bringing paragraphs from a Microsoft Word file over to Notepad++ or Notepad, it's going to end up going on the same line for on and on. So it's really not the kind of program you want to use, once again, if you're trying to be fancy, if you're trying to make a document look good. But if you're just trying to edit a text file or a text file with many different kinds of extensions, then that's where Notepad++ becomes useful because of the features that accompany it. Now, one thing that Notepad++ does have for even just the average Joe looking to write some stuff down is that if you close out the program and open it back up without saving a file, it'll keep the file loaded until you actually close it. So if I was to go ahead and close out Notepad++ right now and open it back up, you'd notice that it won't even ask me if I want to save the files that haven't been saved yet. And I open it back up, and there it is ready to go, not actually saved to a permanent file on the hard drive, but I won't lose the information. If you exit out of Notepad, just regular Notepad, and you don't save, it'll ask you if you want to save the file, but if you forget to, it's pretty much gone forever. So that's just a quick look at Notepad++ versus Notepad. Of course, there's nothing wrong with the classic Notepad. It's just a simple built-in application for the Windows operating system. Notepad++, you have to go out and download. You can easily find it on the internet for free. Uh, both are tools that I use from time to time. Notepad is just fine if you want to jot down some notes. It does what it says. It just won't look very fancy and doesn't really do much beyond that. And Notepad++, while an improvement over Notepad and helps you to basically edit fancy kinds of text files, um, PHP, INI, any other kinds of uh, files that may have a specific formatting to them, um, it's still not a fully functional integrated development environment, although you can get closer to that with plugins, and it's certainly not a word processor to the extent that Microsoft Word is. So thank you for watching. I've been Chris. If you enjoy these tutorials and want to support them, you can do so at patreon.com slash Chris's tutorials. Uh, C-H-R-I-S tutorials, not Chris's. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.